So a question that I've had come up from a lot of people is how do I make sure that I can have a separate view for a different menu item? So situation for this might be that I want to be able to mess around with the form view for a specific help desk, but I don't want to change the form view for all the different help desks. I want to make sure it's just limited to this one. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. So with this, we need to go ahead and find the name of the form view that we want to duplicate first. Okay. So following my example, we're going to go ahead and go into help desk. Okay. And we have VIP support here and customer care here. Okay. We're going to go into tickets. We're going to go into one of these tickets. And from here, we're going to go ahead and go into studio. Once we're in here, and again, make sure your monkey's eyes are uncovered because we'll need that. We're going to go ahead and go to view and we're going to go to more. Now that we're in here, we can go ahead and see the view name. Okay, we're gonna copy that and we're gonna duplicate our tab, which I've already done. And we're going to go to views and we're going to go ahead and paste this in here to search the view for helpdesk.ticket.form. So let's go ahead and click into here. All right, this looks the same as what we had before. We're going to go ahead and say duplicate to give us a new one. Okay. We're now in the duplicated record. We're going to say help desk.ticket.form. I'm going to close out of here and make sure which help desk we wanted to set this up for. So we're going to say customer care. So I'm going to go ahead and say dot customer care. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now that we've got this all set up, we want to go ahead and add a specific menu item for this. Okay, so we can get to that more quickly. Pardon the costume change, guys. Some of my video got cut off, so I want to make sure this is complete for you. So we want to go into Edit Menu. We're going to go and create a new menu. And we're going to type Customer Care Tickets. Okay. And from that, we're going to make sure it's an existing model because we're not using a new model, just a new view and we're going to do help desk dot ticket. Okay. All right. And then we'll move that up underneath this parent menu here. Okay. Let's go to tickets, customer care tickets. And now we've got a few more things to do. So we're going to pop over into our form view real quick. We're going to look at XML just to see what we've got. And you can see this is not our customer care ticket form. We want to fix that. So to fix this, we go into edit menu, we go to customer care tickets, click the little edit selection, and we're going to go to this action right here, customer care tickets, click this internal link. Okay. And underneath here, we're going to go ahead and add a line for the view type. Okay. View type is going to be form and the view is going to be our new one, helpdesk.ticket.form.customercare. We're going to go ahead and save and close that. Go ahead and close out a studio and come back in just so we make sure it's properly refreshed. And if we go to view now and XML or more, I mean, we'll go to XML. We can see that we've got this help desk.ticket.form.customercare, which means now we are safe to edit this without it affecting other ticket views. All right. So there you have it. Not too complicated to get a special view for a certain data set. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments, but Hopefully you realize that this works for list view, Canman view, all the other views. Thanks.